Hey Blinkers! Today we're excited to show you a new feature in Blink mobile app for iOS and Android, a customizable header, which is super functional and will bring your IoT application design to an absolutely next level. I'll walk you through the header setup for this particular example. You can find a link to the blueprint with the complete project, including the code for ESP32 in the description to this video. First, let's look at the header components, and then we will recreate it from scratch. This is a navigation and action bar area. Here we have a device name with a connection status LED. Next is area with some additional data from device, image, and tabs, which are now part of the header. Okay, now let's build one. Here I have a new template for a connected electric vehicle app I'm working on. This is a standard Blink UI constructor, but you will notice a new button here. Customize header. It will open up a couple of starting point designs. Looks like this one is the best fit. For our app, car image is the main element of the header. Let's add it here. I'd like to visualize the different states of the vehicle, so I'll add two more images. One for charging and one for on the move state. These images can be swapped from the device, so I'll choose a corresponding data stream. The images are all set. I can adjust the size of the header simply by dragging it. Let's move to the area where we can display data from our device. By tapping on the plus icon here, you'll see a list of what we call mini widgets that you can add to the header. For our example, let's add a battery widget. All I need to set up is the, the correct data stream. I want to show the charge percentage value, so I turn it on. The battery widget is added. You can add a total of six widgets and place them in two rows with three widgets in each row. I would also like to show the current state of the vehicle for better user experience. For that, I'll add another mini widget, data stream value, and set it up. I think it would be useful to show when the device has reported data last time. For that, I'll add this widget, last reported. Since this project is built on ESP32, I'll just throw in RSSI value to the header to show you that data is updated in real time. There will be more widgets added over time. By the way, share your widget ideas in the comments. Let's check what else you can customize. We can fine tune header for dark or light theme. You can set the background color and content color. This allows you to make sure that the app will look great no matter which theme your customer's smartphone is in. Now our header design is complete. Let's try it out. I've already uploaded the firmware to the device, and you can see that RSSI data is already flowing in. Updates are happening in real time. When I change the status of the vehicle, the image and the status label are updated. You can not only control the content of the header, but also update the design from your device. For example, I can hide certain widgets or change the background color. All of that is done by using the set property command available with Blink Library and HTTP API. Think about bringing users' attention to the most important information, visualizing the state of the device, or use it to communicate alerts. The last header feature I wanted to show is custom buttons. By default, there are only two system buttons in the header, timeline with events and device info. Now you can add up to two extra buttons that will open up any other app page you've designed. Go back to the header editor and add a new button here, which will then open it. Now your customers can access this page straight from the header. It can be anything, a help page, device settings, calibration page. You decide what to show there. There are more awesome features coming to Blink app soon. So subscribe for the channel and turn on notifications to stay updated. That's it for today. 